Hey guys, just one, one quick video for you here. This is just a brief overview. I recently was given by my wife for my birthday the, the tree hopper drill. I've been wanting to try a drill for quite a while. I, I hunt a lot of private land and typically I, I go to Walmart or some other place at the end of season and pick up climbing sticks on sale for 30 or 35 bucks and just use those for presets. But the idea of using bolts and, and getting them for a buck a piece and, and you know spending 10 bucks to make a preset can't be beat. And I've also seen some guys using this as a running gun setup on private land, getting up a tree in, in 15 minutes or less. So it seems like a really good option. But this is just gonna be my first impression of the tree hopper drill here. And uh, I don't have a ton of real world experience, but I wanted to give you guys some close up in case you're considering purchasing it. Okay guys, so here, here's the drill. It's an all metal body. The handle part on the, the back here is some sort of a, a plastic, but the body is all metal. It's spring loaded, so it's under a little bit of tension when you open it. This would be the position that you would drill from, holding it, holding it like this and, and going around. Um, it also goes all the way open like that. The drill bits are replaceable. This is the original design. It's not the mini. So it's three quarters of an inch longer than the mini. And it has a little pin that punches out in case you need to replace the bit. Now in this version, the owner Mark has, has the um, collar here knurled, which is really handy to, to get a good grip on while you're, while you're trying to drill. Uh, this is also metal. The bit then has a bit stop. Let me get in real close here. You can see that there's a bit stop welded right to the drill. And so you're not gonna get any wood shavings or chips down in this collar. It, it, it shouldn't bug up much at all. It's got really fine worm, worm teeth here at the front of it. It cuts really, really nice. The first time I did it, I took it out on a tree here in, in Ohio in January. So it's well below freezing, has been below freezing for over a week. And so the tree was, was solid. And in less than a minute, I, I had my hole drilled and I wasn't trying to go all that fast. I watched Nutter Butters, Nutter Buster's video on YouTube and he just drills these things in 20, 30 seconds he flies. So I'm sure with some experience, you can really go pretty, pretty quick. But I was very impressed. It was a maple and so a fairly hard tree in cold weather and it, it zip, zip through and, and made a nice, nice hole. You use uh, three eighths by six inch grade eight bolts that you can pick up at the hardware store or on Amazon or eBay. I think the body of this is anodized. It looks very sharp, constructed well. Hats off to Mark. The construction is just fantastic. It feels very solid. This version, it does not have the collapsible handle, but with the extra length, you get a little bit more leverage, I'm sure, than the Mini. And the thing only weighs eight ounces as it is. I just put it on the scale. So very compact, very handy little drill, works fantastic. Uh, I'd suggest going picking one up. The bits I think are 25 bucks, something like that to replace them. So um, if you ever need to do that, I'm sure it would take years to wear this thing out, but they're really not that expensive. So fantastic option. Uh, just one more thing to have in your toolbox as you think about how to get into the woods, lightweight and quiet and and get up the tree. So hope this is helpful to some of you guys. I'll make a video later on about real world use um, after I get some more time with it. But my first impressions are that the thing is fantastic. Hey guys, I'm outside now and I'm going to show you how to use the tree hopper hand drill. I'm going to be using some 3 8 by six inch long grade eight bolts that I got from my local hardware store. I just wanna let you guys know that as I've looked around for prices, unless you wanna buy some bolts that come out of China off of eBay or something like that, the most cost efficient place to buy them is directly from Mark at Tree Hopper. He has two different varieties, some that are uncoated and some that are coated and they start at like 18 bucks for 10 of them and they come with a really nice carrying case that you can put right on your belt. So I'd encourage you guys to go that route if you're gonna climb with bolts. What I'm gonna do now is show you guys real quick, kind of zoomed in, how long it takes me to drill one hole, just so you can get an idea of typical speed. 
And then I'm gonna put three, maybe four bolts in this tree, just to kind of show you guys how I space them and how you drill them once you're standing on them, as well as kind of how, how awkward or not awkward it is to drill left-handed. So I hope this video is helpful to you. Let's start by showing you how fast they are. Okay guys, so I'm gonna show you on my stopwatch here the time when we get done. When you drill your first hole, you typically wanna put it right around knee level, like maybe slightly higher. I've noticed if I put it just slightly above my knee, I get about two feet per bolt. That's what I'm trying to accomplish. Your mileage may be different depending on your height. So for me, I'm gonna measure, put my knee up and I'm gonna drill somewhere in this area, all right? So I'm gonna start start the timer and show you guys how fast this is here we go just grab it around the collar and drill once it bites you can let go of it just crank goes in really smooth really easy you crank until the collar of it gets and then you'll notice it starts to spin and you can pull it right out. Less than 30 seconds to drill a hole. So hope that's helpful to you. Once you get your hole drilled, you just pop the bolt in and then I'll show you guys how we continue to go up the tree. Okay guys, I'm going to show you how I do the rest of the climb here. Just a couple of pointers. When you're putting them in the tree, I like to find the second one about on my body where four feet is and drill it in from there so that I can do it without leaving the ground. So on me, four feet's kind of right in here just underneath my sternum. So I'll use that as a gauge for my second step and then we'll begin to climb up. When we get up the tree, we'll use our knee as spacing for the step that we want to put in and I'll show you how to do that. As far as how wide they go, I like to use the point of my hips as a reference. Put them, put them right around the point of your hips. That way they'll be directly above where your feet naturally want to be. And then also you're going to want to angle the steps outward a little bit so that your, you know, your, your feet kind of can go along the tree like that. So outward works better. And I'll show you guys how to do that left-handed as well. Uh, here we go, I guess. You want to avoid any deep, goopy looking bark. That can hang you up. Left handed though, same thing. You just grab the collar and then work it around left handed. It'll be a little awkward at first, but you'll get the hang of it once it starts to kind of free spin. Work it out, pop the bolt in, and then we'll go up our tree for the next one. This is a rather big tree. I've found that you can use the bolts on, on really any size tree. Here we go. Now, for the third hole, what you're gonna do is put your leg on here and find where your knee is and go about that height on the right side, okay? Hopefully you can see this. Kind of a goofy camera angle. But for me, you gotta make sure your lineman belt is out of the way. I've run into that a couple times. So we're gonna come across and do probably right in here. You can see how that just spits the chunks of wood right out of there. And it's not hard. It looks like a lot of work, but it really doesn't make you sweat. There's not any resistance to it that bit just goes in there nice and easy pull it right out 
hopping in. Hopefully you guys will, won't be able to see my head, but you'll be able to see my feet. Kind of, you would just continue to climb up, just like that. So you can see, I am six foot tall, and that one's probably, I don't know, three to four inches low. So we didn't quite get two feet of bolt that climb. Your mileage is gonna vary, but 20 to 24 inches, you'll be pretty common with, with each bolt. So I hope that video is helpful to you. They're a good option on private land. You know, if you buy 10 of them for a tree to get up 20 feet and it costs you 20 bucks, you're not gonna find any kind of climbing sticks cheaper than that. So for presets on private land, I think these are fantastic options. Most of the northern states don't allow you to drill anything into trees, but some of the southern states do, so for you guys where that's an option, these might be great, even for run and gun. You could probably get up the tree in 15 minutes or so, which, which isn't horrible at the end of the day. So anyway, I hope this video is helpful to you guys that are considering the tree hop or drill. It drills very easy. It's a fantastic tool to have in your toolbox. You might have noticed I was wearing the tree hopper recon sling for, for that climb. I've got a few hunts in it. I'm gonna bring you guys a review here in the next couple of days. I also have a latitude method arriving. So not only am I going to be doing the recon Eberhardt signature saddle review, but I'm going to be doing a review of all three two panel saddles that are on the market. So please consider subscribing to the channel and stay tuned for those upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.